Today I have the Letman Horny Potato, the THP, the Horny Potato, and this size right here is the 85. And just so you guys know, this does come in two sizes. This is what they're calling the medium large and there is a small medium which i think is the 65 so what this boat is right here this is the this is their creek race version of say like they took the machete which is a really good boat they took the machete hull and they put a lot of extra volume in it you could see all of that extra volume back here but they like tapered it down and then humped it up really nicely right here i have actually never seen a design like this this is something very different up here it still kind of looks like a machete you know it has that normal kind of letman look the way it is and the letman boats i have paddled i've paddled you know the rocky and obviously the machetes i actually like the machete a lot so i'm not going to do a complete breakdown of everything i'm just going to kind of do a quick little walk through of this thing and you know if, if you see the 85 the 65 looks just like it just to note if y'all are interested in any of these letman kayaks or the letman paddle here i suggest going through the splatopus imports guys and they have imported these boats right here so you can get the machetes you can get the letman paddles and you can get the um the thp 85 and 65 so yeah let's go ahead and start to kind of do a quick little walk through of this thing now so the specs on this thing is it's 274 centimeters which is a little over eight feet so this thing is slightly under nine feet long and it's 66.5 and the overall volume is 324 like liters which is 85 gallons of u.s gallons of volume and let me tell you one thing about the letman boats just like with a machete this one came in a little over 21 kilograms which is around about 48 pounds which for a creek boat that's that's really light for a creek boat to go 48 pounds for overall like weight carrying this thing around so all of y'all that like want a lighter kayak check these things out because they're they're pretty light so first off going over the shape of this thing look at how you know they put a good drain plug in a good location unlike the machete that annoyed me but it's the same drain plug it's just screwed in into the back and you see how thin and tapered that is they have aluminium grad handles good job on letman the 85 logo there thp the horny potato not a big fan of the name but you know what it is what it is letman graphics they love their letman graphics that's for sure because they have four of them on this kayak this has an interesting taper the way they've done the volume and the way it's cut out right here and comes down to a like a sharp taper i'm very interested on in how that is the way they've tapered that off and have all of that big volume there big huge volume right here and the plastic on this thing feels solid just like the machete this thing feels tough those germans i think they know how to mold the kayak that's for sure letman's been around for 500 years uh mini cell foam here they did pin it in the back accessory loops there they're outfitting you know it's nothing new it's run through there it works they have adjustable thigh braces right here they have toe cups on their bulkhead to move up water bottle holder here throw rope holder here seats made out of thermal form so all of this boat's very light with ratcheted back band i'm not the biggest fan of how they done their ratchets but you know what it works so i'm not going to complain about it kind of like a step out pillar in a way they just screw in a bracket right here this thing has five aluminum grab loops these things are very tough and they're arched so good job that they've arched them so you can really get down into them like easily on both sides front and back they do have these tapered things right here this was on the machete so rocker on this thing i'm not on a completely flat ground but it looks to be around about 13 and a three quarters of an inches of bow rocker. Stern rocker looks to be about 12 and a half as far as stern rocker. So yeah, there's the outfitting, the overall deck. Look at these sidewalls. Here's something that some love and some absolutely hate. They have these very flat sidewalls that run down right here and I don't mind them at all. It was kind of like that on the machete and the chili. I kind of like having those flat, aggressive sidewalls to use. But you can see how flat they went with the sidewalls. Actually, watch. When you set it up, very few kayaks can just sit there like that. They went wide and flat. So it's flat here. And then it's wide and flat all the way. And then this is very wide and flat. And there's that Letman edge. You know, it's nothing too fancy. It just is an edge, but it also has a taper that comes down. Let me go ahead and roll it on over. So looking at this, this really does look a lot like the machete hull. It has these ridges that it has an edge that runs here. It's flat. And then it has this kind of taper 
down on the sides there, taper on the sides there, and it's rounded back here. You can see that drop down there. There is really not much of an edge. It's like very squared off edge right there. Zet and Letman always look a lot alike to me. It looks just very aggressive as far as the way they ran these edges out right here and the way they brought these rails down here. So let me go ahead and put this thing on the water. The water's about to hit and I'm gonna get some laps in this thing. A quick little walk through of the Letman Horny Potato, THP 85. Let's get on the water.